Okay, we haven't done some fake Lego for a while, so we're gonna do some fake Lego um, tonight. It's the last one of these Play Studio sets that I did a long time ago that nobody cares about. Uh, but I mentioned I'd already done this one, but uh, I never actually did it on the channel. So we went through and did all these things. Uh, I know this one is fiddly and it falls apart because I've done it before. So let's quickly redo it um, again. I haven't got any more of those egg things. I sort of forgot about checking whether or not they were in special. Uh, they were, they're, they're more enjoyable than this one. <laughs> so maybe I should not do model A. Uh, maybe I should do model B. What's B? B is like this strange monster thing. That doesn't look very cool. That one looks pretty cool. So I will do that and yawn at the same time. I'm actually not that excited about doing this because I think it's not going to be very exciting. Um, but you never know. Got to get it out of the way. It's been sitting around hidden for a while. Mm. Oh, this is that's right. One bag is easy to open, and the other bag is not. It's like it's like it's like being greeted by an old friend. The same kind of thing that I haven't done. You know, it's like I don't know. There's a warm fuzzy feeling about doing the familiar that you haven't done for a while. So. But you still know how it works. It's like riding a bicycle. Um, if you don't know, don't know what I mean, you have to go back and watch the video where I did that and made many comments about the fact that uh, one bag is very easy to open and the other bag is not very easy op to open. There's bits of wood underneath this; so it's not very level. So I'm going to put that uh, there, over there. So we've got to start uh, somewhere. Uh, what's this? That's two of these things stuck together with This is a this is a weird piece. I don't know how often often you get this kind of thing in Lego But and I'm not entirely sure what the picture is trying to say. I think the picture is trying to say I don't know <laughs> I don't understand really what it is saying Oh, I think it's saying it goes like that because there's like two arrows and then they point down to there and it's saying those two things line up with those two there which is that way of doing things but that doesn't look is that is that kind of right I guess I guess so well we'll find out in a second when we try and put more pieces, well, I'm glad this bit goes in because that's making me feel a lot more secure. Uh, so I'm a bit okay. This one goes. Uh, so what it goes? I know that that is how you want. They want you to do it. Okay. So those little, those little red arrow things do have a use. Uh, and then you have to put. Well, I haven't actually finished the previous instructions, have I? So we've got to put those two things on the back. Uh, but I'm a bit confused here. It looks like there's only space for... I really wish I got a good look at the back of it. So there's the back here. And... Uh, and then there's a bit that goes over the top. Oh, I think it... I don't know. So, should this be one, two out or should it be one out? Uh, well, well, well. Well, well, well. And I've got this the wrong way around. Turn that one around. Turn that one around. We'll f we will find out more as we continue. So, I think this is the bit that's going to tell me what I want to know. It's these things here. Go well. There we go. That makes sense. Okay. So I don't know what this. Oh, I guess it's just because they're using a piece. Because it's got that side rail on the thing that <laughs> looks really, really not that professional at the moment. Uh, and then these things go in there. I feel like. Oh no, no, they do line up. All right. So we are definitely getting those parts correct. So that one goes facing that way. And then I've got to have that one going down like that. 
and so this is going to be the leg, which looks like a terribly uh, unstrong leg, if that's a good term. It's not a good term. It's a terrible term, but it's a term. I don't understand really what's happening here at all. So this looks like, oh, they do, t they give you a picture, right? Okay, let's follow the picture for a second. Um, oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, so we've got to have something that looks a little like this. Uh, and that's going to go that way. That's going to go that way. This bit goes like that. And I think I got that right. And then this one is going to go like there. And then there's a little toothy thing, claw thing, tooth claw, that goes in there. Which reminds me, I got a letter from the dentist and I have to open it up and read it. It's just going to tell me I have to go to the dentist. I don't have to go to the dentist. Uh, but they think I should because it's for my yearly checkup. And I feel like I should. But I'm not going to go just yet. I always like to leave it just a little bit. Just to build the anticipation. My teeth are not currently in any position of critical need for repair. So it's fine. But I still, I still, I'm just a bit sad because they usually send me these cool little postcards for kids. Uh, which I thought were quite funny. Um, and then they haven't sent me those. <laughs> and they just send me letters. I don't want a letter. I want a, I want a silly postcard. Uh, I'll actually dig out my postcard and show you the last one I got because I thought it was funny. Uh, and I just thought it was weird that they spun, they sent me a postcard after all these years because I hadn't actually gone to the dentist for quite a few years. Um, that they'd send me a kiddie's postcard. But it was just the right thing to do. And then I went to the dentist. So, yeah. Alright. I don't have any fillings or anything. I have good teeth. Uh, just very worn teeth because I, I used to brush my teeth an awful lot. Uh, I still do, but <laughs> I'm very careful about um, putting too much pressure on and doing it with a too hard a bristled toothbrush because you can wear your teeth down if you do it. As I have done. So, <laughs> and this is all because of this dinosaur thing. I didn't actually finished watching Jurassic Park again. I got halfway through and then, and then didn't come back and finish it off. So, so this is actually quite this is quite fine like it's very flimsy like this is going to fall off and this is going to fall off and it's all just going to go kaplonk on the floor uh, without a satisfying thud so then they're going to do this thing I'm pretty sure they've done this before where they have um, these things on top of each other there we go these little turny movie bit things uh, putting on put on top of each other and they do this kind of trick which not I'm not actually a big fan of uh, I don't really think it's the smartest way of doing it uh, well it's just it's just it's a recipe especially when you have cheaper bricks for it to fall apart and this is where it's a bit confusing because it seems like it should have oh no 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 it doesn't okay I was gonna say I don't have any more uh, two by fours but we're not actually going to be using a 2x4, we're going to be making this out of these pieces. So that one goes there. Oh my gosh, this is going to look flimsy. Maybe that, that because I did have this, not that one, but there's another one. I oh know they probably couldn't have got away with it. This is what you get when you do the secondary models. They're really, really kind of having to uh, fudge the pieces a bit. Uh, Okay, and I think that gets covered up so that it looks like this. Yeah, that looks right. I'm actually going to put, I'm not going to put this on. I'm going to actually finish making the the, the the actual head. You can't see that. There's This is the head, and I'm going to finish making it before I try to attach it. Because I think that's the less, fid the less fiddly way of doing it. Uh, I think so far my impressions is this is going to be slightly more stable than the um, Model A. But maybe I made a mistake with Model A when I built it. And that's why it was very hard to... Like this is, well this is going to kind of fall apart. 
Oh no, there's more. Oh, they they tricked me. I thought there was I thought that was it, but no, there's actually and it's a weird thing. So I'm going to put this thing over the top of that. I feel like that was a that was a, that using that kind of piece was a vital part of this. It gave some sort of texture to it, and <laughs> they put that over there. But that that looks kind of cool. It gives something on the side. Uh, it doesn't really line up very well, does it? No, you can kind of move it around. Didn't see that coming. Uh, all right, and that one goes there. That one goes there. All right, and then we're going to do these legs, and they always do legs in the strangest ways because well, they, they're obsessed with using these things. Um, so, and it's colored very strangely in this picture, isn't it? It's like it's like it's like black and green. Oh no, it's not. It's because they've got this pattern here, and you can really kind of see it there. Uh, it, it looks a bit. We need six of these apparently. <laughs> oh, this is a strange way of doing it. So I think you put two on top of this. And then that one goes there, I think. Kind of, it goes the other way around. Alright, there we go. That goes like that. Another tooth thing. Claw, claw, this is a claw time. It's not a tooth, it's a claw. Uh, and then that's going to go into there. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's fiddly. I knew it was going to be that way. You can't just hold things on with two little studs. It's, it's not going to work. It needs a bit more support. Alright, well I'm not going to pay attention to how I just made that. I'm just going to do it this way because you kind of get it because uh, they got this really weird you can't see the instructions but it's like you put two green things you start off and you build two green things like that and then another like there's two green studs single studs there and and that one and then you put another stud on in the next step and but why don't you just put three studs on in one go it's, it's obvious you don't need to do the whole and having said that I'm precisely doing the instructions and putting two studs on first and then putting the third one on uh, as a second as, a, as, as an alternative thing and that goes there alternative thing as a as a as a what's the word I don't know as a secondary thing as a, a later on thing <laughs> as a not at the moment thing and uh, we haven't got the little green they do like using these pieces as anything but water or fire so you have to give them credit for um, the play studio people not that I think that's their actual name um, that's just the warehouse branding there's been a um, watching a what's it, who does it a robot chicken skit thing of a deleted scene from the Lego movie where she's actually taking off Wood War Z and fake Legos everywhere um, and but I don't think they have Play Studio in, in that set but we've done it and it works and it looks it looks like a dinosaur how come that looks like the dinosaur that you see on the front like is that actually the like that's pretty much exactly the dinosaur that's like the one that you make so that was C but that was actually the primary thing so that's a bit disappointing I, I made the standard model and that makes sense because if I look at these models neither of them are dinosaurs and I certainly made a dinosaur so this is the dinosaur that I made originally so I haven't actually made a different model at all uh, and that, well, that that's kind of funny then when you think about it because some of those really weird design choices like how this was made up of a lot of two by ones in the head uh, seem strange when you think this is the primary model you think that they would have just made it first for this and then worked out a way to make the rest of them maybe I don't know like why well, have this odd thing here <laughs> which looks really out of place with the little side bit uh, it's very unbalanced if this is the primary model 
and not the secondary one as I thought it was. So I wonder if the other models, just quickly, we, can, we, we don't have to actually build the other models to work out whether or not uh, that piece with the extra slidey bit is, um, well, it's kind of, it's used symmetrically there, so it does actually come up, but it's ob obviously not used for anything. It goes there, it goes there. How come, wait, 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 A, A doesn't even use it at all. So it's A is pretty short. We should have done A. A's got nothing in it. This has got it in, but it's like, well, I mean, okay. So you can kind of see it. You, I don't know if you can, but it's like their breastplate, and it sticks up. I don't think that was really necessary. I don't understand the point of this piece. It's like, why not just use a standard two by four? Like they could have got away with that. Look at the wow, wow, wow. The um, the how does this how it's held on by one one stud in the flimsiest of ways it does seem sturdier or well, it doesn't stand up very well <laughs> it's not very well it's not at all well balanced what have i done something wrong because you kind of think well i could kind of turn it a bit it's not going to help i could put it forward a bit that's not going to help can't get it to stand up <laughs> uh I'm going to give it a lot, uh, like a two out of five for design. Uh, I like that little bit there with the thing in there, um, and it it kind of looks like a dinosaur, but it doesn't stand up, and it falls over, um, and it has weird things. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.